It was just a normal day at Clearwater Beach for Michael Buck when he saw something strange floating in the water. Just kind of walking along and I see this uh, object in the water and I thought it was a I thought it was a can at first. He picked it up and was surprised to see it was an iPhone 7. Couldn't believe its condition. And I flipped it over expecting it to be dead and uh, as soon as I touched one of the buttons on it it lit up and it was still still working. Mike tells me he was able to figure out that the phone he had found was an AT&T one and so he took it into this store and they were able to track down the owner that way. The staff was able to use the serial number to track down the owner, Chris Glatz, who had been vacationing in Clearwater. My daughter called me to say, Mom, at t from Tampa just called. They have your phone. I'm like, no way. I'm like, I dumped it in the Gulf of Mexico. There's just no way. She says the phone had fallen out of a boat, and she didn't realize it. When Mike called, they arranged to meet at the at t store in West Shore. I showed up and, and walked in. I said, did somebody lose a phone here? <laughs> So she was pretty excited. I was shocked, absolutely shocked. They took this picture, two strangers beating over a found phone, and then Chris was able to head home to Chicago, leaving nothing behind. Here I am talking to you, FaceTime, and having a great time using my, my phone. Nothing happened to it. Mike says he was just doing what anyone would do. I wish somebody would do something like that for me, you know, if it, if it happened. So, uh, you know, just doing the right thing. In Tampa, Tim Bronca, Bay News 9. That's pretty cool. Now, Chris estimates <laughs> that the phone was.